Hi, Mark Savage here. I'm a 400 videos. Welcome to my channel. You're after something? Type in Mark Savage and what you're after. I'm doing some light bite videos, I guess you can call them. Just really simple ones. Today's video is about winter check. I recently did one. I had a bike out here and I explained about winter checks, about your tyres and brakes. Again, I've explained that now. Now, something that people don't often check. Peds can be 50-50, but any bigger bike is always water-cooled. You must check your water in your bike, okay? When I say water, I really mean, okay, generic cheap brand, antifreeze, okay? You must check your antifreeze in your bike. If it's a second-hand ped you've bought, take the water out. Do you know, look at the water, it's generally like a brown colour, get rid of it. Unless it's a nice green, blue, or red, or pinky colour, brilliant. If it's that colour, brilliant. But if it's that crappy colour and you don't know, if it's just water in there, you really need to change that. Drain it out and put some antifreeze in there, okay? I use antifreeze quite concentrated, I must admit. It doesn't do any damage. It keeps it cooler in the summer and stops it freezing in the winter. If you've just got water in it, it will freeze, it will damage, it will crack your head and you've got a lot of problems coming up. Also on the winter riding, your battery. Make sure that's topped up. A lot of people don't use their bikes regularly. Let's say you leave it for a couple of weeks. Some bikes have immobilizers and it's constantly red flashing light. That will drain your battery. And you jump on it or you need to go to work first thing in the morning and you get... But once the battery goes flat, and this is the size of a little 50cc battery. Once these go flat, dead I'm talking about, there's an old thing saying that the cells in here touch as it were. Dead battery, you start losing cells, you start not chucking the power. Yes, you can have, still have 12 volts, but it's the amp the battery kicks out that's the problem. And if you're not kicking out the right amps, your battery, your bike will turn over slowly and just get worse. So regularly charge your battery. Keep an eye on it, make sure it's topped up. There's lots of chargers out there nowadays, trickle chargers that you just plug in overnight. And if you're not using a bike, it just keeps it topped up. My best tip there. So if it's a big battery like this one here for 1300cc motorbike, or even one of these lithium batteries that has a health check on it, keep them regularly charged. It just means that when you get on it, let you start, you're always going to go. Don't just think that your bike will always charge enough for the battery, because it doesn't always happen in the winter time when you're on the lights all the time, because it does drain the batteries. Indicators, brake lights, and all that sort of stuff does drain them. I know your static coil alternator should be charging it all the time with 14 odd volts into 12 volt battery, which does keep them topped up. Just regularly check them. And of course, last little bit for that one is your WD-40 maintenance spray. Just go round, rear brake for instance on peds, that seizes up with the road salt, your levers and so on, anything and everything that's metal that moves, spray. Not your discs, okay? Keep them clean though. And that's a real simple light bite. Thanks for watching. You take care of yourselves on the road. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll keep making them while you keep watching them. <laughs> Too cheesy? <laughs> Ta-da!